You could say that my construction site is almost complete. The channel has been laid and the concrete has been put in. Now, care must be taken to ensure that the surrounding blocks bond with the concrete and that the surface is 5 mm above the channel so that it is held securely in place without pressure and the water runs properly into the channel without gathering in front of it. I will stand the first block on its end. It will be laid down properly afterwards. It is merely maintaining the distance to the second block. The second block is placed here and immediately adjusted to the correct height using a rubber mallet. This means 5 mm above the string and as close to the natural stone as possible at the back end. As you can see we are already creating somewhat of a downslope, which is exactly what is needed. The water should be able to flow easily into the channel and not remain on the surface. The better the subsurface preparation, the easier the work. Go over it again with a trowel. The concrete can be compressed by about one centimeter. The final sprint. We've done it. We have laid the channel and positioned the blocks. We did all of that yesterday. The concrete has hardened and now we still complete the rest of the work. It has to finish off the edges. We still need to sweep in sand at the front, wash it in and compact it. And then the construction site will then be finished off. And we finished on schedule. Everything went well. Brushing and washing in are important so that the joints are properly filled and washing in with water tightens the joint. This makes the joint simply more stable and durable. After having installed the Recifix Pro channel several times, I know that we can use the compactor right next to it. The material from which this channel is made is ultra flexible and will not break or crack.